Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to automate moving the mouse to hover over a web element. Selenium's action class will help us move the mouse, then perform an action. The test strip will hover Hello Sign In Account and List. Select your account, then get the page title. Inspect the element. And we see now link account list as the ID value. Copy the value, go to Eclipse. Load the AUT driver.get https colon two forward slashes www.amazon.com Next, we find the element, web element, menu, sign in, equal driver dot find element by ID. Paste the value. Actions class, ACT equal new actions. driver import the classes act dot then we move to the elements by selecting move to element which element menu sign in then perform go back to amazon and inspect your account. Let's find this value using XPath text function. Two forward slashes, span, brackets, text, parenthesis, equal your account. Bingo. Copy the value. Go back to Eclipse. Driver dot find elements by XPath. Paste the value. Dot click. The last statement will get and print the page title. Sys out. Title equal. Driver dot get title. Let's run. The title is your account. That's it. And thank you for watching how to automate moving the mouse over an element. Hello and welcome. My name is Rex Jones II. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to automate clicking the left mouse button. We see this AUT application under test has a button called left click me. If I click the button, a list of items show up. Our test script will left click the button and get the items. Let's go ahead and inspect the button. There's a span tag and a class attributes with a few values. We are going to use the last class name, btn hyphen neutral. Then write span dot btn hyphen neutral. Copy. Now let's go to Eclipse. The setup method already has our AUT loaded. Next, we find the web element by writing web element button equal 
driver dot find element by CSS selector paste. This is where the actions class begin. Actions and ACT as the object reference equals new actions driver. Now we left click the button ACT dot CLRCK and select the method that contains web element target. Our web element target is button. Then perform the action. Next, we find the list of items after clicking the button. Let's move the dock. Inspect the list. There's a span tag. Find the element by using CSS starting with the parent list item tag. LI space span. And we see six results. The six results are for edit, cut, copy, paste, delete, and quit. Now go back to Eclipse and write our script. Driver dot find elements with an S by CSS selector. LI space span. Then assign the list of web elements to web element. Elements equal. Import the list. I plan to create a video explaining the difference between find element and find elements. The last step is to print all of the items. We will use Java's enhanced for loop to iterate each element. For control space, change web element to element. I have a highlighter method in my utility package that will highlight each item. I'll make sure you have access to download the highlighter method. Highlighter dot highlight element driver element then print each element sys out tab element dot get text. Let's also print a note before starting the enhance for loop. Sys out web elements after left click now run We see each item after left clicking the button. That's it. And thank you for watching how to use Selenium's actions class to left click a button. Hello and welcome. My name is Rex Jones II. Connect with me on LinkedIn and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to automate clicking the right mouse button using Selenium's Actions class. It's the same test script as the previous video, left mouse click. We click the button and get the list of items. However, left click and right click use different methods. Inspect the button and we see the same span tag. 
class attributes, and class values as left click. This time, let's use a different value to find the element. How about the class name BTN? Copy the URL and go to Eclipse. And load the AUT driver.get. Find the button driver dot find element by class name btn and assign the web element to button import the web element actions class act as object reference equal new actions driver in parenthesis import actions next we right click the button by writing act dot context click there are two methods but we will select web element target the target is button dot perform Next is to find the list of items and print each item. I'm going to copy and paste from the left click class, then change left to right. Let's run. All of the items, edit, cut, copy, paste, delete, and quit, showed up after right-clicking the button. That's it, and thank you for watching how to use Selective Actions class to right-click a button. Hello and welcome. My name is Rex Jones II. If you have not subscribe to my youtube channel click the subscribe button then bell icon for each video notification also you can connect with me on linkedin in this video we are going to automate double clicking a box using selenium's actions class jquery is the aut i'm going to scroll to the bottom of this aut and we see this blue box. The test script will get the color of the box, double click the box, then get the new color of the box. Inspect, and we see view frame source, shows us the box is located in an iframe. First, let's find the iframe by writing two slashes iframe. This application only has one frame. That makes it easy for us. Go to Eclipse. And the first thing we do is scroll to the bottom of the page using JavaScript Executor. Now, let's switch to the frame. Driver dot switch to frame. It's best to switch to a frame using web elements name or id but we only have one frame so let's use index zero you can watch videos 29 through 32 to learn more about frame after switching to the frame we find the box but let's first import javascript executor go back and inspect the box Within the iframe element, we can find the box using a direct relationship between the parents and the child. Body is the parent and div is the child. 
Therefore, we write body angular bracket deal. There are four results, but three of the results are outside the iframe. Let's search, search, search. Four of four contains our element. Let me show you how to get the color since we are inspecting the box. Select the computer tab. Do you see how the background color is yellow? We will use background color as a parameter for the get CSS value selenium method. The method will return the computed value, which is 255, 255, zero. Watch how the color changes after reloading the page and inspecting the box. It changed back to blue and we see RGB updated to 00255. Back to Eclipse, find the box, web element box. Equal driver dot find elements by CSS selector body angle bracket div. Now print the color. Sys out color B4 box dot get CSS value. We see the description shows color values should be returned as RGBA strings. RGBA stands for red, green, blue, alpha. It's a four channel color model. The parameter property name is background color surrounded by double quotes. Now we double click by instantiating the actions class. ACT equal new actions driver ACT dot double click and the web element target is box then we perform the action the last step is to print the color after double clicking the box copy and paste then change before to after. Let's run. We see the colors are different before and after double clicking the box. That's it and thank you for watching how to double click a web element using Selenium's Actions class. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.